Hey everyone, this is Sab and Berto and we are live in Dubai. Live in Dubai. Today we have very special guest, amazing artist. He's half Tunisian, half French, and he just moved here to Dubai. Welcome, Edis, to the show. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. So how do you feel about moving here to Dubai? Well, it's, uh, it's really interesting. Um, it's completely different, of course. Uh, I, I used to live in China for 12 years. So it's, uh, I have to say, it's another part of the world. It's another culture, another way of, uh, of, of, of experiencing things mm -hmm. and uh, a lot, a whole different level of services. Right. Oh, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the first shock, you know. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, which, so which, what's your favorite part of uh, service over here in Dubai? Oh, honestly, the first, uh, the, the most confusing part was like, so I, I was in Guangzhou before and for, for expats, you don't have a lot of, uh, let's say, choices in okay. terms of... Uh, home delivery yeah oh, and, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. and I arrived here and there is like five or four different apps with 15,000 different restaurants oh, each of them restaurants you and get your, 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 exactly. your, your clothes and easy to exactly. gain weight so, yeah man you so get fuel after, delivered after 45 minutes I was still finding out like which best restaurant I'm going to have the home there and I was like fuck it can't be so more simple than I know that. So it was, uh, it was, it was a little bit confusing. Let's yeah. say it's not a bad thing, but it's more confusing. But it's great. I mean, it's great. It's it's a big luxury to have to have so much of uh, service and choices. So so tell us about your background. How you find yourself in this? Because I, I believe that you're starting first doing traditional business study. So tell us about the story. So basically, I studied in. A, I was born and raised in France. Okay. okay. I studied in France, and um, after high school, I was having the choice between architecture mm -hmm. and, uh, and, in, and and business. Let's say economic. So I chose economic because it was more, uh, let's say, natural. My uh, Tunisian roots <laughs> were pushing me to uh, business and economy. So I went, okay, let's let's go for it. You know, when you're young, you're you're a bit lazy, so you're like, okay, it's easy going, yeah, yeah, more, yeah. more natural, so right. let's go for it. So I did, I did uh, economy and, uh, and then I studied international trade mm -hmm. and um, it's a two years course. So in France, you have to do at least two, three months uh, internship abroad. Mm -hmm. So they, you, can't, you can't do it in France. So I was looking and I was thinking, okay, is there India, is there China? Because mm -hmm. if I don't do one of them, then I'm losing half of the world, you know, and it's no more yeah, really true, yeah. Yeah. international anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So I started to look and at that time India was not as it is now. It was like 15 years ago now. Yeah. So it was not like now. So I was looking about China and, and I was lucky enough to find a very good internship in a, in a clothing company and a Spanish clothing company actually in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I went there for an adventure and, uh, and boom, I, I arrived there <laughs> in, uh, in a world I had no idea. At that time, it's super weird for us now to think about it, but at that time, internet was not so well developed, even mobile really? phone. Yeah, yeah. Skype yeah. Was, was, was at that time like one of the new thing, you know? Yeah. They just started Skype, so yeah. Yeah, imagine that. So I arrived in a, in a country where I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to see maybe Chinese people in a rice field or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> because this is how they described it to us. Yeah. Right. Boom, I arrived in a, in a city like Shanghai, which was crazy with a lot of uh, high sky, uh, skyline, skyscrapers, and, uh, yeah. skyscraper and everything. So Lights everywhere. Exactly, yeah. and LEDs and everything. Look, and not, people, a race, and, not a rice field in sight. No, 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 <laughs> not, not even once at, at miles away. So, so it was really interesting. And, uh, and I loved it. I loved yeah. it, and I stayed there for for two years. And and then, um, so I was working actually in, in garments. Mm -hmm. uh, my first job was garments. And then I had a friend that was in Guangzhou in South, mm -hmm. and he told me, "Listen, if you come here, Shanghai is nice, but it's only it's only nice as as a city. Like it's mm -hmm. not real business. So yeah. come yeah. come to South, you'll see the real markets and stuff. Mm -hmm. so, Canton town, exactly. <laughs> Canton yeah. town. So." <laughs> So I went south, I went to Guangzhou for the fair and, uh, and I never left. I yeah. never left until last year. <laughs> yeah. So it was... So it, you enjoyed it, huh? Yeah, <laughs> no, safe to say? It. No, it was... Yeah. For, for work, it's amazing. I mean, it's, uh, it's literally... It's literally, you can do whatever you want, wherever you want, with, with a thousand different stores that you can do it. So, mm. so from so, internship to long internship. Yeah, yeah <laughs> to a super long internship. <laughs> and, uh, and I started to work. Uh, actually, I find... Um, I had a partnership with uh, with uh, a girl, a French girl that was leaving China, mm -hmm. and she told me, "Okay, listen, I'm giving away my my clients, so um, if you want it, just take it." 
And it was it was Max Mara, it was Guess, it was oh, wow. all names. So I was like, okay, oh, so yeah, sure. So you came in the game with the top exactly. names, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and it was actually, so so the funny part was that it's such a niche, so it's called visual merchandising. Mm -hmm. So it's all the decorations that you see inside of the stores. Right. And I was like, this is perfect for me because it's actually what I wanted to do before in right. architecture and, 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 and still doing business. Right. So this is how I ended up staying 10 years in China. 12, wow. Well, yeah. In total of 13 years, but 12 years in, in Guangzhou. Mm. And um, and yeah, this is how I started. And little by little, I worked with more and more brands. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I do I, I did more and more artistic things. Mm -hmm. and, and I've been into, especially the field of windows. Yeah. Okay? And um, and I did windows for, for Dior, for Montclair, for all those guys, doing the sculptures for them. Yeah. Telling me, okay, I want to have, I don't know, we did a 12 meter uh, giant Mr. Montclair. Wow. Uh, we did uh, subways for Coach, we did uh, uh, snow, fake snow for Dior. So it's, it's, it's a lot of, uh, lot of things, a lot of different materials, yeah. which gave me a lot of experience. Right, mm -hmm. and, and so uh, you were the brainchild behind that. Yeah, those. Oh man, exactly. man that's amazing. So that's actually, everybody is seeing it like yeah. super nice, but uh, to make <laughs> yeah, it yeah, that's you. Okay. Are like, how I'm going to do that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I want a fake tree. I want this. I want that. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me think about it. Man, so, and so your creativity bone was on like a thousand. At exactly, the time, exactly, know? and and you know, working with all those guys, like the creative directors yeah. and artistic director, it's 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 a lot, and it's it's it's. Yeah, it's uh, it's costless. You can't even buy an experience like this. So yeah. that's, that's great, and, and that teach me a lot of things. That gave me a lot of pressure, of course. Mm -hmm. But that that teach me a lot of things, and and having a lot of experience. So that was a, the the great part of it. And um, what happened is like two years ago, we wanted to move to Dubai. So we started mm -hmm. to think, okay, how are we going to move? Where are we going to live? And everything. And um, after a business trip in the US, I got a disease, uh, the gut, maybe, oh, yeah. yeah, you know yeah, it. Yeah, I heard of it. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, yeah. Like, I never heard of it before having it. It's Argentina it. And, disease, and, it's Argentina and, disease. And, and everybody knows stick. about it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, after New York, you know, New York set, yeah. New York steak, so yeah. I, I ate too much meat and yeah. I, came back, uh, I came back to Tunisia and I had the, the, the gut, so I stayed in bed for four or five weeks yeah. yeah and after a couple of days you know you you watch tv you watch facebook internet yeah. or instagram but at certain moment you're like okay what am <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you gotta do something exactly so yeah. i started to draw again draw again sketch a lot mm -hmm. and um i used to be you know you, you always have a guy in your in your in your class yeah there's always drawing but yeah. still keep right. keep having okay notes you know right, right. Yeah. but he's always like drawing you like yeah this is exactly yeah. me like that was me <laughs> so you couldn't keep focused you, no, you had yeah, to start I sketching just, and... I, was, I was keep listening but right, right. i was just like it, it was not bothering me but it was not really like pushing me to interest right and and well, it's, it, it's not a bad thing. In France, the, the great thing is that school is free. You have a lot of free things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The problem is it didn't change. Right. So because it's free, you don't have the same access, the same de uh, and, and demands and, yeah. and, and, and equipments mm -hmm. that, for example, here. Here I went to, to visit some schools for my son. I was like, I want to study. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, take me. Take me. You know? <laughs> and, uh, and this is a big difference. On the other side, it's free. So you cannot, you know, you cannot spit on the soup. You say. Yeah. Right, so, right. so on the other side, it's this. But yeah, it was kind of bothering me. So I was always drawing, drawing, drawing. So that's right. why I was really hesitating between architecture and business. So finally, I came back to drawing yeah. because of boring, yeah. and uh, and I started to sketch a lot, and I started to think, okay, why I'm not doing the sculptures I wanted to do since a while, but right. I never had the time, you know. Right. Now you're stuck. Yeah. So you, you have know, nothing but time. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, when you're busy, you never have time, but right. as soon as you have to stay somewhere during a certain time, you're like, what I'm going to do now? <laughs> right. I have too much time. Yeah. You know? yeah. So but so that's how it started. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that like in the back of your head you don't picture this it's just you follow no. you follow your guts yeah exactly yeah. No, I, was, I was thinking okay <laughs> you know what it's in the middle it seems safe it yeah. seems good people love it we love it when we come for holidays yeah. but you know they always tell you during the holidays and living is a bit different yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit. so we were like but, okay let's try you know we did China so it's like completely <laughs> opposite from you yeah. so if you made it there you can you make can it make everywhere, it anywhere, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yep so I'm we just looking at your style of art, man, which is amazing. Thank you. Like, um, 
like I was telling you off camera, uh, I first discovered you at somewhere called The Point here in Dubai off of uh, Palm Island. And I was looking at some of your pieces. And one of the things that I've noticed is that it's a lot of animal uh, 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 yeah. animals. So are you an animal lover? Like what, Yeah. What, what's... So I love, I love animals. That's the first thing. Um, second thing is I, I was feeling weird to represent people, you know? Oh, so okay, yeah. my, my first thing was I'm the first client. Yeah. So if I don't like something, I will not do it. Gotcha. It's, it's as simple as this. Right. So all the pieces that I did, I really love them. Like yeah. I can put them anytime, any day. Well, Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> but I can put them every day yeah. in any of my rooms or living room or, you know. So after that, I went to a more deep, uh, you know, feeling and, 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 and intensity of, of having feelings and emotions. Mm. And I felt that animals, not only because I love them, but they are simple. It's like it's simple and pure. Right. An animal, he will bite you if he wants to bite you. End of story. It's not yeah. like biting you because maybe if I bite you, no, no, no. You know, all, right, this, right. all this kind of thinking that nature, we have nature, human, right? you know, but yeah. it's instinct. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's why I wanted to represent every single animal with a, cer a certain feeling. Mm -hmm. And every, every single one of those animals, I made them at a certain moment where I had those feelings. Wow. And so each, I, each animal represents a feeling yeah, within you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's... And it's, uh, and I wanted it to talk only, not only to me, but also to people. Right. And not especially like this animal is this feeling, but this yeah. animal have this feeling. You right. Know? Right. And it's like, it's like I have, I have now people. So at that time I didn't know, but I did my mission because now I have people that tells me, oh, what I read about the crocodile, or mm. about the bear is exactly what I'm thinking. Wow. And so people think, they, you know, they, they relate, connect. they connect yeah. and they linked, you know, mm -hmm. and that's, I think for nowadays with all, not only Instagram and social media and technology and stuff, but so of course there is a human contact that have been being losing and losing, right. but also with nature. And we see it nowadays because, well, pollution and everything i'm not here right. to you know to be the big debate but yeah. it's right. it's something that we need to still remember and right. and and i think it's really important right so and you lived in a lot of or you visited a lot of places like via art yeah right? um and has any of that had an influence on on you like we know that the animals have but has has the places had an influence on you yeah so i have to say um asia in general and I, I was, yeah, Asia in general had a lot of influences in terms of animal, in terms of the way, the styles that I like, mm -hmm. I like polygon, origami yeah. style. So it's like, it's like kind of Japanese way, you know, to represent the animals. So it's, it's, it's a bit special, you know? Right. Um, I used to go a lot to Malaysia mm -hmm. and I used to go there because of animals. Like I right. was living in a city of 70 million. Yeah. When I wanted to go on holidays, I wanted to see no one. Yeah. You Just didn't want nature, to see you know. <laughs> yeah. So I can imagine diving, snorkeling, seeing the forest, seeing the jungle. Right. Uh, in in Borneo, you have one of the oldest jungle in the world. Really? Yeah. Okay. And it's like as they say, like 70 percent of them they didn't even explore it. Wow. So it's it's I mean it's you go there to see animals, to see real animals mm -hmm. in their real condition. You yeah. see orangutans, you see, you, see, you see elephants, you see mm -hmm. bears, you see leopards, you see, yeah. see a lot of things. So, wow. so, and this had that influence. Yeah, on and this, this had a lot so, of influence. Yeah. So how long does it take you to kind of create these pieces? I, I, so from scratch, a new animal, for example, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it takes a couple of months mm -hmm. um, because I'm watching a lot of... So what I want to do is every single animal have one position and one yeah. feeling. Yeah. So and it evokes emotion. Like exactly. when you look at your piece, it just evokes emotion. Yeah. Good. So that means I made, I made a good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was the point. The yeah. point is, you see at it, and you have something. You know? yeah, it's like it's the animal talking to you. Exactly. Yeah, it's it not is. like yeah. you pass by. Right. You know the feeling of that animal yeah. when you see that animal, and you kind of it resonates with the feeling inside you. Yeah. And how you should. It, it feel takes something. You know. Yeah. It, yeah, it yeah. turns on something. Yeah. And depending on the animal, one will be like, oh wow. You know? Right. And the other bee will be still talking to you, but in a different way. Right. And, yeah. and depending on people, you have different animals that talk to them. And honestly, up to now, almost every single person have a different animal that they like. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, so that's good. And, um, but yeah, that's the, the, the point was really like to have, to have people feeling those emotions. Right. And uh, I'm sorry, I forgot the question. 
No, I was saying uh, <laughs> the connection uh, between the animal the connection, and the yeah, connection. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no, yeah. So that's uh, yeah. No, I I just love it. I just love it. I wanted to have yeah. So every single animal have one emotion. Yeah. So it takes me a lot of time to make sure that this specific pose is going to represent well this animal. Right. So now I, I did a lion, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. and and I did that lion. It was nice. It was it was it was good, but it was not wow. Mm. And I look at it. I was like, okay. No, yeah. you know, yeah, okay, yeah. nice, nice, right. but no, right, but not wow, right. It, so, did you it, scrap the whole piece? Yeah, I just and it took, took it couple, off, it'll take you a couple months, <laughs> and then to another, do. yeah, and then I did it again it. over, oh, over man. again. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, and now it's a wow lion, now it's a wow, now it's a wow lion. So, you don't sacrifice, uh, as far as your art, you're no, very no, serious, like no, no. if it's not up to uh, your level of, yeah, no, I don't do it. Forget it. I'm the You're first client. You're not gonna have that represent you. Exactly. Yeah. No, I'm the first client, and and if I don't like it, I don't do it. That's amazing. As man. simple as this. That's committed, and that shows the excellent character as well. Like especially when you are doing stuff that's that's meaningful as art, and there's a yeah. lot of artists that just do art for this, just to do it, just because yeah. they can. Yeah. So that just shows like, all right, this piece really needs to resonate with the people. It really needs to be uh, a connection with with yourself first as well as uh as every entity. Others. so yeah. it's like it's, that's amazing man it's no, very no, commendable that's, that's really the point and and well some people will feel it because now i'm having so i'm having a head so what i do is uh, every single big expo mm -hmm. new expo i'm releasing a new animal mm. so i have to be ahead of it you know otherwise oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like oh <laughs> shit yeah. i introduce a new yeah. step, well, <laughs> which animal i'm going to and it needs to 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 make sense right so for example for new york i have a big dinosaur that is oh, coming okay. yeah yeah uh, and and yeah and it's not like i made it especially for new york but i made it thinking of it like right. it needs to make sense of it yeah I think Bert, so we need to have dinosaur here, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and, and and some people will see on on all the different pieces that I did is like you can feel some changes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a little bit more aggressive. Sometimes yeah. a little bit more strong. Sometimes a little bit less. So it's 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 more more and more when I'm evaluating, it's, right. it's evaluating also by itself. So it's right. really about feeling. Especially the bull. I see the bull is really like uh, so out loud, you know. Yeah, oh, it's the just bull like is amazing. Yeah. You pass by and it's like so loud that yep. actually you can hear the noise, yeah. <laughs> but you come closer, you know. And this is something really like uh, amazing about it, you know. Yeah. And this is what is the ne next question, you know. So uh, I want to ask you about how you find the inspiration to make the city part of art because normally yeah. people know art in a gallery and art yeah, is yeah. like and this is a traditional way because i feel like it's like you ha you create new dna of art because art should be part of the lifestyle of the city you know yeah, and it's a really exactly. nice thing and for me exactly. to be honest like how i really like get in touch with your art is through your the animal because the animal is something that we live every day and yeah. animal is like the species yeah. that we need to protect and i feel beyond his art mm -hmm. it is really so, like a message we need to take care of exactly. this animal so it's not yeah. just like a, a, it's nice to watch you know but we need to protect as well exactly. so how we come up with the idea to uh, kind of like bringing this nice pieces in the city and the same time like uh, it is in very nice location. It's a kind of like you're putting pieces yeah. in the right spot. Yeah, 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 yeah man. It's like kind of like that, uh, like salt in the food, you know, like in the last yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a finesse. Yeah, no, man. it's That's all the difference makes in the details. So yeah. it's small things, as you said. Like, why, why do you put it outside? So the thing is, so there is there is two different ideas behind it. First one is. I'm not a guy that goes to art gallery yeah. and I don't have any of my pieces in art gallery. That's mm. amazing. So that's, wow. the, that's the crazy yeah. part. Like yeah. everybody is like, what? <laughs> yeah. It's not because I don't want to sell, but because I want first people to feel right. the emotion. Right. Like, it makes very artist of me to say that, but yeah. it's true. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's true. Really no, true. it's true. Um, and, and so that's number one idea is like to bring this, this art and to bring those emotion to the people directly. Especially kids, like I have my, my son is my first client. Mm. If he doesn't jump on the piece and, and like touch and match it, it and touch it and everything, <laughs> that means it's not a good one. Right. As soon as he wants to grab it and, you know, turn yeah. it and play with it and everything, that means it's a good piece, you yeah. know? And so, 
So those those kids. So I, I've I've been watching a lot, especially at the point because I live I live near. So yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I stay a lot in the the coffee and watching people interacting, interacting with, with it. it. Yeah. And kids love it. Yeah. And and what is great about kids is that they don't they don't lie. You know. Yeah. Like yeah if true. he likes, he likes. If it's ugly, he'll say. Yeah, no, mommy, it's ugly, <laughs> you know. And yeah, some, yeah. and and I'm so glad when I hear like, "Wow, look, mommy is a bear," oh, you know. Man. That has They're a like, amazing "Wow, feeling. you know, it, yeah, it, yeah. it's great feeling." So that's number one idea was this: like, okay, it's not because it's art; it's mm. not because it's nice mm. that you can't see it. Everybody should be able to see it, right. and and especially nowadays. I mean, with with Instagram, social media, and everything, you have you you, you could have access, yeah. but people don't really go for it because they don't have the habit. Right. So I I used to not go to to art gallery. Right. I'm not well now. I'm going a little bit because I've been inviting to. Right. Right. But otherwise, it was not something natural for me. Yeah. But it doesn't it doesn't mean that it doesn't that i cannot be part of it right and so that's exactly why i've been pushing like to those different places yeah. the the second idea was bringing animal back to the city yeah so it's like here you used to live animals not the zoo yeah. no exactly. not yeah. the zoo you take but animal from the zoo and put it on the life side exactly yeah. so it's like oh of course well it will be a little bit utopic to say, okay, there is going to be a oh, sorry, yeah. a giant b- bull near you <laughs> walking on the street. It will be a little bit dangerous, <laughs> a giant dino or something. Right. But still, you know, it's like to bring it back to, to have this unconscious right. seeing, okay, look, there is animal, it's nice. And okay, obviously we cannot bring back real animals inside in the yeah. middle of the cities, but at least we can still think of them right. by doing those, those pieces and by putting them in, in nice location. Yeah. So I choose also the location based on on, on how many people go there because right. it's really important. I, if my art is in a very high gallery but only 10 people go there, it yeah. doesn't make sense. doesn't make sense. Even yeah. if it's 10 sales. Yeah. I prefer to have a thousand of people seeing it mm. and having no sales and 10 sales and 10 people watching it. Yeah. And I, I, that, I think that begs the uh, question of like the need for like, you know, art galleries in this day and age because of people like you that's putting their art within um, within the masses and uh, yeah. which the gentleman who uh, who writes on the wall his name is forget- uh, ah Banksy Banksy yeah. yeah like no you know like he all his art is done outside and is yeah. for the public to view and you know society makes it their own yeah, yeah, yeah. Of it, but yeah. not you know, true I, I'm I'm more I'm thinking more about it's not about if there is art gallery or not it's more I'm I'm thinking that I'm just a step between it yeah so between art galleries and between people right there is guys like me that is like Banksy like yeah. right bringing it to the people directly yeah and, and, I, and I think that's that's more impactful when yeah. you do it like that because now the average the average Joe walking down the street can appreciate art in a way that you cannot appreciate art if it's in yeah. an art gallery exactly, not, exactly. Not, not only that I think also the other part which is also painful for the artist mm-hmm. when you make like nice piece of art which is very sad story you know like yeah. you find nice piece of art then yep. go for auction and the w- w- guy buy it Somebody and buy put it, it in his collection yep. and just close that close and that's it. it and that's yeah. it and that's, that's all. it I, I, Yes, now just there is some somewhere. art of art should right. be in that part, yeah. but yeah. at the same time, there is art go for the society, yeah. for people. Because, see, uh, to be honest with you, sometimes yeah. like people have a bad day and you're just walking by and see nice things and just oh, like, exactly. oh, feel it happy, changes you know? their mood. Yeah. It Honestly, mood. I had those messages. Yeah. I had people sending me messages like, I had a shitty day and I read the story of the, exactly. oh, at the time it was at the IFC. Yeah. I, I read the story of the tiger and it, it made me uh, feeling very well and thank you very well. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. I was like, wow, this is amazing because this is exactly what I was doing. It. Right. Yeah. And right. the second part is he's, he's an artist. Mm-hmm. He's like, he's living there. So it's one, it, like, by normal, it's not supposed to be there. Right. But because yeah. he sees it there yeah. and he feels there is an empty space, right. which is even the place of the people who own the place, they don't mm-hmm. notice that. But as an artist, you feel yeah. there is like something can be refilled and add that element in there. Exactly. So it's all about like uh, taking initiative, as you said, the, the French code. Uh, yeah. yeah if you don't ask for anything you have nothing yes yeah. so there is like french code uh-huh. it is like if you don't ask about uh, anything you don't have any result you know right. and him he's just an artist who's just living there he f- like that result convert based on his taken step yep. he go to ask can i have some uh, people who are already working here i want to ask some question and then he make it happen so thanks to him we have mm-hmm. some piece of art there <laughs> yeah, that man. we don't feel like that kind of 
depression of everything store everything like selling you can't buy these things you right, know yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> no and I, actually i had a lot of people that told me like oh you made the place alive yes and and so it's great because that was a point again that's the point yeah. exactly yeah, exactly you, you add the point to the point yeah <laughs> <laughs> no and and i have to say like the point what was uh, fantastic with them is that they told me okay you put it whatever you want wherever you want how many colors whatever yeah really like freedom like yeah. a white card yeah and uh, that, that was that amazing. was really great because yeah. i don't for me it's very new for me yeah mm. but i don't think they do this for everyone of course yeah. and, and and that's that you, you have to be a, a dope artist such yeah. as yourself <laughs> to have that kind of I'm, I'm not only that uh, based on the number for me i see it on the like a couple of days before new year but the new year everybody there and it was uh, epic like I, yeah. I, like i can say maybe like 10 percent of dubai people they see the, this guy yeah 100 yeah, percent. No. honestly now yeah. now as soon as i meet anyone new yeah they're like oh yeah i saw it yes. yeah <laughs> because because yeah i did a difc in the point at the golf so it, it's starting yeah. to be uh, I, i've been all over all over the place so even if you don't want to see me you'll, you'll see, see me yeah yeah, yeah. You're, you're becoming like an icon <laughs> yes. over here man you know so tell us about other project i i, I know that you also like work with the the omega golf uh, uh, yeah uh, f- so there is a kind of like um there is another uh, like spaces that can be part of art so this is something kind of like you are passionate about this no yeah so the thing is the thing is i i w- I really believe that art is is a general thing. It's not such luxury specific niche that we have been believing it. Right, you know, right. it's it's uh, now and we are we're lucky because now we are in a period we are back to a period actually mm-hmm. because before like a couple of hundred years ago a singer was an artist was yeah, considered yeah, yeah. as an artist yeah, yeah, yeah. then the last 30 years 50 years it was not really the case since 5 10 years it's now back to this mm-hmm. you know and 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 uh, a singer can be an actor an actor can be a painter you know so yeah. it's no more this very special precious things that you you, right. you cannot touch you yeah. know right. and that's really the feelings i want to do that's why also i do it public because i want people to understand listen mm-hmm. if you like art you can do it right and 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 you are talented you are good you like it mm. it's not because you are not rich you are not uh, from uh, whatever elite mm. that you cannot do it no you can do it L- look it's here right in the middle of everyone it's free. right that's right so yeah. so that was uh, the, the the idea with the golf uh, it was amazing it was um, so they proposed me very simple they were like okay we want you to be part of the golf so what can we do and i didn't know where i can go where i cannot go because i never played golf i played once uh, 25 years ago maybe <laughs> but i never really like did any time anything i didn't really got interested to it and everything i just know that golf you know it's like this precious thing like same as as, right. as polo or yeah. you know it's, it's not usual sports you yeah. know and so they came with this and they were like okay we want to integrate you to the to the golf how can we do what kind of idea can we have and everything i didn't know what were the limits and i was like okay we were thinking brainstorming and everything and then we came out with the idea like okay let's put them in the middle of the gulf mm. and they're like wow okay yeah, yeah great amazing yeah let's go for it and i was like wow really yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's do a giant uh, gorilla let's do a giant tiger let's right. do this let's do... and this was fantastic this That's was amazing, amazing. Yeah. It was it was the first time. Yeah, that's um, a good concept amongst uh, golf is like a high brow sport, right? Exactly, so like, and yeah. and you know they bring like so there were like I think forty or fifty thousand people, yeah, yeah. and they all come with a family, they all come with thing, and so it's not anymore about golf only, but it's about a complete experience. So yeah. we put it them at the different holes. We put it uh, one of very very beautiful shot we made. Uh, I made a giant falcon with mm. a UAE flag on it in front of the skyline of the Dubai Marina. Oh, so man. everybody beautiful. took pictures of it. Uh, yeah. It was it was amazing. It was really fantastic. So I'm um, yeah I'm I'm interested not only about art but it's also about what can it bring you know and yeah. that added a really nice value. This yeah. is really interesting. So, so, what do you think about the art scene in Dubai? Just going back to like you ha- doing so much work so far in Dubai. How's your? What do you think about the scene? It's huge. It's huge. It's a lot. Yeah. Uh, a lot of events. Um, it's it's dynamic. It's uh, it's really great. Really positive. I was not expecting so much. You know, yeah. 
I just moved to Dubai and what you hear about people not really liking Dubai is like, oh, it's fake, there is no culture, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. And then you arrive here and you, you, you like, get a smash you in your face yeah, because yeah, yeah. you got concert almost every day, you got mm-hmm. famous people coming almost every day, you have expo, uh, art food. galleries, <laughs> right. uh, there is a, f- a food festival every single week, yeah. there is, it's crazy, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, and it, it is, honestly, yeah. you don't have time to do all things. Right. Yeah. It's right. like sometimes you have three or four events in the same week and you're like, how are you going to do, you know? So, sometimes it's too much culture. Exactly, yeah. exactly. No, it's like, really? Because every every single place is, wants to attract so yeah, much yeah. people. Yeah. So they all do this big dynamic, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, environment, right. which is amazing because right. because it brings a lot of artists. So right. it, it's not because you're an artist and you don't have a spot of world art dubai but yeah. you can go to art dubai you can go to dubai design week you can right. go to you know yeah. like I mean, Sika, ZZ. Yeah. you have 170 nationalities and within each nationality has their own unique way of doing art we are exactly. an open gallery you know so it's yeah. like open galleries every area have their own like dna you know and this yeah. is something really unique as you mentioned yeah. there is a lot of activity and a lot of event could be yeah. just like in the point drinking a coffee and then Wait a minute, you look around. Yeah. It's Enrique Iglesias singing. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to drink my coffee. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you almost get news of like how much dope stuff is happening. Yeah. Which, you know, we, I, I'm, it's not a complaint. We're not complaining yeah. here. It's, it's know, just amazing how, it's, uh, how it has developed. Even I, I've only been here for four years. And just to see how it has grown within four years, especially with the announcement of Expo being here and us, you know, just going through different things. It's just uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's no, amazing. As soon as you go out, because when you hear now it feels normal, but as soon right, as you right. go out, you're like, so nothing, Close. no <laughs> festival. Close I, I'm, just, I'm just at a park and there's yeah, not no, anything like, happening. Like, <laughs> you don't have any events? Like, wh- why? Like, no, really, it's like, it's not, it's huge. It's nice. Uh, they're pushing a lot. The artists, I have to say, I yeah. had a lot of very good support, very nice, positive. Even if yeah. it was not possible to do something, they were like, okay, not possible now, but maybe later, and In then the they call you yeah. back. And, yeah. you know, so it's, it's, it's really positive. Really, really nice. Yeah, and this is something really I want to ask you about the next step, which is, for example, you have like something unique between other artists. There's a lot of artists and there is an artist who have business background. So you kind of like have yeah, an yeah. extra advantage to understand yeah. the environment because mm-hmm. sometimes if you are an artist alone, that's not enough to expose yourself. Yeah, because right. right now we are in social media era where it's too crowded and the people judging the artist based on the follower number or whatever yeah, thing. Yeah. So it's not like the norm like before the offline era where the artist is an artist. You, you have to go see the art. Yes. So I see this is a kind of like a business strategies behind it. Yeah. So there is a kind of like a strategy how you want to present yourself as an artist, as a brand as well. So it's not just yeah. like a, a random move. No, it's not. No, no. I'm, yeah. I'm really realistic artist. Exactly. So, you know, you have those artists uh, basically that are living in the wood and comes once yes. every two <laughs> years and right. go out and do this. No, I'm not in this kind. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a more... I'll say like realistic artists. So I do things very down to earth. I try to uh, make, a, I, I have, yeah, as you said, a more business way in the terms of, I'm trying to bring new things. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So for example, I, I create, I, I created, I didn't create it, but I bring this new kind of finish, which is chameleon finish, yeah. which depending mm-hmm. on how do you look at it, yeah. is a different, it will be different yeah. color. And this doesn't, I've never seen any single pieces of right. any other artist doing this yeah. because it's too expensive. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So because of my background, because of, uh, of, of my business uh, experience, mm-hmm. I was able to make those kind of things. Gold leaf also, I'm, I'm doing finishing in gold leaf, yeah. which uh, people are like, real gold leaf? Yes, <laughs> yeah. real gold leaf, yes, yes yeah. it is. So. So I'm trying to give this new breeze, you know, like not only oh, I do this, it's in four colors and that's all. It's like giving people something new. And in terms of material, it's like new colors, new possibilities in terms of also disponibility, you know. So, for example, my pieces, you can customize it, yeah. which I don't even think there is one artist that says, OK, you can customize whatever. Of piece course, you want. yeah. Yeah. Or you have to pay five times the price, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And for me, it's like normal. It's like you have to customize because I don't want that this piece that you like, right. it's my piece. I want that you buy my piece, but that you like your piece. Right, right. That's really, that's a little bit different, but that's very different. Like you like the, your specific, your favorite color is purple neon. Go for it. Right. And, and this is what I want. Like this person will say, I love this artist's piece. Right. 
but it's my color. Right. I right. choose it. They feel know? super connected, super personal. Exactly. And it. it's like it's like we made it together. Yeah, yeah. And it's again, it's about feeling emotion and being linked. Right. This is really interesting. Also, yeah, in terms of uh, color choice, uh, I think also there is a kind of uh, very special color you choose because you know about Dubai. That's always hot. It's always summer. It was like yeah, that kind of vi- vibrate. I think also you choose a color based on that kind of energy. Yeah. So, for example, for the point, I made a panel that I wanted to show what is possible, but also in terms of, as you say, what is feeling with the environment. Correct. So the background. Gonna, where exactly. I was not going to do a gray sculpture in the middle of a gray building. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was not good. I mean, I could have done it, but that would be just stupid. Because, because, because you have carte blanche. You could do that. Exactly. No, I could, I could have done it, but it, was, it, it will just not be nice, you know? Right. And it's the same piece doing it in red or doing it in blue it will be completely different. Right. And, and a different if, emotion. if actually, if you go to the website and, and make an animal that you like, mm-hmm. and when you start to change the different color you have different emotion also based yeah, on the different emotion. color yeah. so something that will be in black and something that will be in purple or that will be in pink will be completely different in your eyes and in your feeling mm-hmm. so it'll be like oh look it looks that aggressive and then oh finally it's so cute like this right, you know right. and so so that's that's the, that's the idea so yeah i choose to really based on the environment so Which like I'm so, oh, sorry, so, sorry there is like a simulator on the website so when yeah you, it gives you like kind of like preview yeah so there is a 3d simulator on the website i worked on it like during months uh, with with a great friend of mine that helped me to do this and it's actually it doesn't exist nowhere it's like a 3d one yeah. where you can select every single part of the animal wow. that you can change the color and it will show you like let's say 99 percent of how it's going to be in real yeah. and, so and it's even more than the, than the cars makers you know yeah, and, and tell us in Greece to our viewer how many chance that you could actually have the yes so there is 255 billion possibilities for the moment uh, in, in <laughs> oh the goodness, in the in the website for the for the animals that can change the, the different parts and so yeah i used to say that if you find somebody Good else luck. having the same uh, the same animals and you you should marry the person because that's your soulmate <laughs> that's basically your real twin you yeah, know yeah it's uh it's insane and so yeah limited 99 piece, right? yeah li- uh, yeah so for example the size m are limited to 99 pieces the size l is 49 pieces so depending on the size is limited to a certain so, number. so when the size mm-hmm. is out of stock where are we gonna go now the different animals no yeah yeah it will be different animals as soon yeah. as this for example the gorilla as soon as it's finished 99 pieces this gorilla in this size is finished yeah, no so more and, and then I'll do maybe another gorilla, but before doing the same of course. animal, I want to do, you know, there is so many different animals that I can do. So. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I have, I have a little bit of work, yeah, <laughs> before finishing Don't go it. back out into the woods and, no, and no, 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 no. you might see something else. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, man, so going forward, man, like what do you have in, like for your future plans? Like, because... Uh, you have a bad, like your past is just amazing and the things that you already Thank accomplished, you. man. And so just going forward, it's like, how, how, how high can you go, man? You know, you're in Dubai, you're doing the best Sky place is the in limits. the world. No, yeah. actually, okay, it's a great thing. Uh, I saw, I saw one, one day I was driving and, uh, and I saw, uh, I saw a banner where it was written in Arabic. It was written like, here impossible is reality or something like yeah. this, you know? Oh, and I was like, this is, this is really great. Like, people don't think about this when you are living here. Yeah. But when you are coming from outside and seeing stuff yeah. like this, you're like, this is exactly what we should think of, you know? Yeah, that's Nothing so is impossible. This like is so true because he's highlighted a very important point about the city, which is to bring it back. You know, when you come to just like to say, I'm going to build the tallest building in the world, yeah. there is no reference. There yeah. is no the other tallest, you know? Right. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. as he said, so for him as an artist, when he come with a new idea, the city adopting the people who are trying to create like yeah. kind of innovative things. Yeah, innovation. Other people say, oh, it's hard. We need some time. We need testing. Exactly. We need yeah, exactly. Survey. We need right. information. Right. Oh, in France, it will be no. Yeah. So you're like, no, but I didn't ask. I didn't ask if I can do it or not. They say, no, no, no. It's no. It's no go. Right. And you're like, but. But, but I want to do it, you know? Yeah. What, one thing I love about this country is it's solution-driven, right? Yeah. So they find a problem, and they want to solve that problem, and they tend to solve that problem. Of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, like, when you, for instance, the tallest building. They say they want to make the tallest building. 
So let's do, do it. Good for him. Yeah. Biggest small, biggest small. Like yeah. whatever, whatever they want to do, the solution, whatever the problem is, yeah. they find a solution. I'm, I'm, to I'm it. Exactly. That. Even the space station stuff right now. Maybe it, that's where you want to go. Man. Yeah. I want to see you out there in some in the space. Even that thing says back you up. So when you have something around you that already like a case yeah so you said like i'm gonna do this you have something already happening around you yeah, yeah. that supports you yeah, that's not gonna be like kind of strange what you are doing yep and the things about his art this is just like a beginner for him so what he's doing right now this is just let's call it like a warm-up yeah and then it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Else is coming <laughs> up you know so right. it's a kind of like a, it's a process mm -hmm. at the same time when you are doing things and you're getting that feedback, yeah. it's very important yeah. that to go faster. And being in this, in this environment, you're not just, you know, if you come and say, okay, I want to do super nice culture, I want to do it in the middle of the financial center. And if you have in front of you people that say, oh no, that's not, that's not possible, it's a financial center, it's too serious, no, 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 right, right. done. You're done. You're, you're done. dead. Yeah. Yeah. And then your creativity is dead, and right. then you just go and die. Yeah. Right, right, but yeah. if you have in front of you somebody that say, yeah, sure, Let's no try. problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. What do you want to do? Like 25 meters culture? Let's yeah. go for it. <laughs> you know? And, and so that gives you more, that gives you no limits. Yeah. And, and yeah, so that, that's a great feeling about so, here. So the, uh, the, the, the day that is like you put that sculpture on front of DFC and you go to see it, how, how that feeling, honestly, Bro. like, yeah. Like, yeah, honestly, yeah, right? Man. I, I was like, it, right? damn, I did it. Yeah. Wow. Right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like a life goal that you no, didn't yeah. even know was a life no, goal. You, you know it's time. going yeah. to happen, but yeah. you don't really know until it's done, you know? Yeah. So you know it's going to happen, you, but the full vision of it, the full picture of it, right. you're like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you're like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And yeah. stupid stuff like I didn't even finish that installation that mm. people were already taking picture of the first pieces that I really? installed because in the IFC I put it like twelve pieces, mm -hmm. and so obviously you take time to do one by one. Mm -hmm. I didn't finish it that people were already putting on Instagram like, what is this? This is amazing. Right. The IFC did it in one night. I was like. <laughs> It's not really the IFC, it's me, but it's okay, it's okay, we share, we share, it's okay. But yeah, that was, that was, that was crazy. And same thing with, uh, with the Falcon at the point, people were queuing. People are queuing to take the picture with the Falcon. Yeah. yeah. And, and, I, mean, and, and I, I, I went there, so I did the installation, and then I went there two days later for the, um, for the event. Right. And then I relaxed because it was a lot of stress and everything, so I relaxed during a couple of days. And then three or four days later, my wife was like, hey, there is a problem. I can't even take a picture of the Falcon because people are queuing since a quarter, you yeah. know? Wow. And I was like, what? So <laughs> then we went there and I see like literally 15 people waiting to take a picture with wow. it. And I was like, wow, and okay, this is great. And let me just give a, a reference to the point. Um, so we had uh, something called Art Fusion Night with an artist I represent called yes. MKO. Right, and so when we did our Art Fusion Night, that was one of the main attractions, and it wasn't initially supposed to be part of the uh, yeah. main uh, attractions. So it was like a whole bunch of performers and everybody singing on stage, and no disrespect to them, the music was amazing. Yeah. Um, but but your piece there was, was a one of the main, main, main attractions. So I was like, wow, man, this is amazing. Now, so yeah, so that's no, that's that's a very good uh, let's say beginning. Um, sky is the limit. Yeah, so yeah. one of my goals, so. I'm going to have now soon Park Avenue. Okay. Uh, obviously, with the virus, we don't really know when it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. But it's supposed to be in April. Yeah. Uh, but one of my goal is to put a giant lion, which mm -hmm. is going to be my next next animal, mm -hmm. a giant lion in front of the Coliseo in Roma. So I'm 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 pushing on this. I'm I'm trying to get contact and trying. Yeah. But this, I think, is going to be one of my masterpieces. Like the lion in front of the Coliseo for me, I don't know. It's like it's just. Is special. this an exclusive, by the way? Are we getting an exclusive right now? Yeah, this is yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Here, here no, first. definitely. Actually, I just I was just thinking like, yeah, I, just, I never said it to anyone, but yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, it's exclusive. Anything in Paris? Maybe Louvre. Uh, the, the thing is, you know, yeah. France is very system. specific. Yeah. Yeah. It's very yeah, specific. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you go there, you need to be strong. You need to be armed. You need to, you know, have bodyguards. You need to have. Yeah. You need to go there with an army. So that's why I'm trying to get everything else being done first. Okay. Yeah. And then you can come there and say, because the first thing that they will tell you is like, who are you? Yeah. It's yeah. not like, oh, what is your idea? So, who are you? No, I never heard of you. Bye bye. I got you. So, hey, this so is a France thing. is a more traditional. It's very, it's good because in one side it filters a lot of, let's say, bad things. Yeah. Mm. 
on the other side, the problem is it's stuck. You yeah, know, course, yeah. so it's it's really very difficult to to move a, a, a grandmother. We, we see know, also like a huge movement now in Saudi in terms of art. Do you have anything oh, yeah. that maybe you can on that? Uh, no, I know a couple of Saudi <laughs> guys, but uh, I, I have I, I'm I'm working on a couple of small things yeah. uh, in Saudi, but I didn't I didn't have any big contacts yet. So gotcha. Oh, it's coming. I'm Saudi, sure. Man. I'm, I'm yeah. sure it's coming. You never it know. Is. You know. I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> so, so what's your most memorable piece of artwork? What is the, the animal of it or which piece Anything. itself? What piece, like in your mind, what stands out as the best piece you ever did and, 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 and why? Um, or are they all super, super pretty? No, honestly, I love them all. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's not even like kids because uh, kids, sometimes you don't like your kids. So it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's different because it's kids I choose, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, more seriously, no. I love them all. Uh, again, if I, if I don't like it, I will not. I right. will not keep it. I right, will right. just take it off, and that's all. But um, I would say two two moments that were really like being proud was uh, was when I put the falcon mm -hmm. in front of the Atlantis because it's it's like six meter high. Yeah, six meter wide. So you're like. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I had to go on the back and forward and forward until I can see the full picture. Right. You know? So that was a great moment. And, and you realized that uh, you couldn't even take a picture in front of your own. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> literally. Yeah. Literally. Like the, the, <laughs> so a couple of days later, we went there with a, with a photographer, Shalinder, if you listen to us. Yeah. Uh, and, and we went there and we had to literally like stop the people and enter a point where the when when Shalinder said to people like this is the artist so let him do the picture <laughs> and everybody was like oh okay 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 that's fine that's fine you know but otherwise they will not let you to do the picture right, because right. there will be a guy taking half of the side and the other guy so <laughs> no it was and not uh, only that right now it's like everyone visiting Atlantis you, you become part of that story of his picture every yeah, traveler who yeah, comes yeah, to Atlantis yeah. when you take picture from that position exactly. is the center yeah you yep. cannot ask me, can you move, can you fly and come back, you know, <laughs> it's staying there. That's exactly why I put it there. Yeah. It's exactly, it's a very centric spot, point, yeah. you know. And yeah. I think it's maybe the next place would be like uh, the Burj Khalifa, that something could be like... Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, you know, why not? Everything um, is really like, and, uh, like a start. And as I really want to uh, highlight about this point, you, uh, you seem very interesting about social media, that you are actually seeing people posting about the stuff and trying, uh, like gathering data and behave of these people. So now social media has become very important for you to understand how the people react to your art. Yeah, yeah, because so actually social media is very new for me. Like mm. I came from China. Uh, Chinese Chinese social media. Media. There is no social media. There is the Chinese social there media. There is, but you know, it's, it's definitely world different. World. Of course, yeah. And so I didn't use it because I didn't have time and I didn't want it to do it. So I discovered Instagram like uh, less than a year ago. Oh, really? <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the social media. Welcome. Welcome, <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to the so real world. I, I'm still trying to find out like which filter is the best, right, you know, right. like all those kind of things. I'm pretty good at which hashtag, but now they tell me like you should put <laughs> well, less well, hashtags. Well, the amazing part is your pieces don't even need filters. No, yeah, that's it's a good you. thing. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> no, but uh, but yeah, so I'm still trying to find out. But yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get as much as uh, as as sending back, you know, the pictures of the people that did it, yeah. because I know that people feel proud of it, you yeah, know. Of course, yeah. And so, so I'm sure. trying to do it every day, but it's it's taking a really a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but no, no, the the best part of the Instagram is that uh, a lot of time people discover my Instagram because they like the piece, they took the picture, but yeah. they don't sp specifically put my name. Yeah. And so when I add <laughs> They tag the point. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, they tag the point, they tag, they tag <laughs> the IFC, they tag this X3, but, uh, but they, they don't tag me. Maybe it's too long Instagram, but uh, I don't know. But, uh, but at least the good thing is that after that, like mm. they, they, they tag it, they do it. And I have a lot of comments like, Every time that I have somebody that having a picture and knows that it's me, right. then they send me a message like, I love your sculpture, I love your art, I love that piece, this piece made me feel a very nice emotion, right. this piece I love it, etc. Et so it's, 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 it's very nice. This it's is a very nice feeling. It's very nice. But yeah, Instagram is super... Um, it's it's nowadays, it's a big challenge because you can't do anything without it. Yeah. yeah, yeah and, um, and yeah, so it's challenging. Yeah. 
uh, I feel old, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel old because I'm not in TikTok, I'm not in Twitter, I'm not. I'm not yeah. But eventually kind of you get a TikTok, man, because I think that's going to be the next way yeah. you'll be. No. Exactly. But I feel also when you don't have that time for social media, you find time to become more productive. Yeah, it's true. Because yeah, it's no, a lot definitely. of time. No, no, definitely. Yeah. I have to do the Instagram like at two o'clock in the morning, so, <laughs> yeah, so I don't yeah. have time during the day. But it's yeah. it's okay. It's a good thing. And also, I want to ask you uh, another question because we are talking about art. Mm-hmm. Art can be also very. Uh, important for social impact uh, yeah, i know that sure. the first capture that you did this gorilla which is like very meaningful to you yeah. at the same time you're working with a, uh, uh, a non-profit organization that's protecting gorilla can you give us some uh, insight about the story and how you yeah yeah so what happened is that i was in contact with uh, district three and uh I don't know what is exactly the name, like D3 or Dubai Design District. Dubai, D3. Yeah, D3. D3. Yeah, D3. So D3 and, um, and so they loved the art, they loved the sculpture and they were like, okay, but we want to do something a little bit different. So I came out with a concept like, okay, what about if we do one animal only? And then they were thinking, okay, that's great, but can we do something with environment, with something like this? So I started to research, I started to think about it. And I came out with a proposition, okay, what about we do, so I have a small, medium, large and extra large gorilla Mm -hmm. and that will make like evolution of the gorilla, you know, Mm -hmm. and in the same time, like what we do is that we'll do 10% of the sales that Mm -hmm. I have from uh, that expo will be given to an association for preserving the gorillas in Congo. Oh, so they loved good. the idea, that's they good. loved it, and they were like, okay, yeah, perfect, let's go for it, let's right. do this, and this is how it is. So it was... Uh, so is it, that's an example of yeah. solution-driven, yes. uh, how solution-driven Dubai ah, is. Yeah, you know, they, uh, let you, they let you pick what you want to work on, what's passionate to you, and... and yeah, no, if it can be good for, for, for many things, yeah, better do for it, you know? Yeah. And, and, and that, that, uh, that was the idea. Of course, it's nice to have all the animals, but that's that's a story. Like this is about yeah, gorillas. Cool. This is about this. That's all. That's really interesting. And, and that's the most important. The most important is the message. Yeah, for sure. So how you woke up with the message? Because I see also every piece which is like that small message. Yeah. So yeah, how yeah, you come up with that script? Like honestly, very yeah. naturally. Yeah. Like uh, so, I was thinking. So all of them, I typed it once. Like yeah. I, ju- I was just thinking about it and then bam, I'm typing. Boom. That's all. Then I had a guy, I had to make sure that I didn't make big mistakes in English. Right, right. right. But that's all. And, uh, and yeah, it was is it, this, this small sentences about the, st- it's either the story of the animal, either the story of the feeling behind the animal. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's 100% what I was feeling at that time. And it's, uh, it's really important for me. It's as much important as the animal itself. Yeah. Because it's a link. It's kind of the link. Of course, the animal cannot talk to you and tell you this, but at least you have the plate that you can read by yourself. And then when you read the plate, I had the feelings that people connect more than the animal, you know? So it's not like, okay, this is nice. I love the way it is. How it makes me feel about something. And then I read, I'm like, wow, it's exactly what I was thinking. Right. And then, then you have these connections that is done, yeah. you know? And that, that's how I, I, I came out with those plates. Gotcha. I'm just I'm just curious, man. Just based on like you typing and saying you didn't make any big mistakes in English. How many languages uh, do you speak? Uh, five. Five. I say. Yeah. Wow. French, yeah, that's... English, Spanish, Arabic, Chinese. Yeah, five. I think wow. I, I want to ask you about the impression when you you are in Guangzhou and then you speak in Chinese. The people are like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, in, no. So the thing is, the good thing in Guangzhou is like it always have been. Uh, yeah. A city of trade. Of course. Yeah. So they used to see a lot of foreigner people mm-hmm. speaking speaking literally very well Chinese. So yeah. I speak so so Chinese, but at least I can get to everyday life. Of That's course. a good yeah. thing. I cannot have a political conversation, yeah. but I understand. They understand. That's yeah. the most important part. So sometimes my wife, because she studied, mm-hmm. yeah. and she's like, "No, you shouldn't say this and that." And then she talks to the girl, but she talks in a so polite way that they're not used to. Yeah. Right. And I'm talking like. Let's say a normal street way, yeah. you know, like how people talk in familiar way. Right. And I'm like, don't worry, like just give me this, give me that. And then she's like, I went to school for nothing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so as an artist, how you feel about the Expo 2020? Is come, come in a couple yeah. of months yeah. because I can imagine your mm. your your art can be part of that exhibition. Yeah. You know. I hope. I hope. <laughs> that is, and this the country is about hope. Yeah, no, I hope. Yeah. No, I definitely hope. I, I, I had, I had submitted couple of, uh, of projects, couple yeah. of ideas, 
Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's I will definitely be proud of being it. Yeah. Uh, then it's really it's it's really it's a little bit complex, and uh, and uh, how to say um, intense. No way, you know. Yeah. So Expo is not really easy to get in touch yeah. with the right people, with yeah. the right pe- yeah, so persons. And parts. It's so big, yeah, there is so many you know? parts. There is some, and it's so huge. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it's the Expo, so it's not yeah. small thing. But yeah, is it is it better to go to uh, you know even in an office? I don't even know if I can go to anywhere. You know. Yeah. yeah. So it's a bit difficult. But I'm trying now with oh, all cool. the all the exhibitions that I did. I'm trying to get to get more contact. I've been talking with uh, an agency that is working with all the expo, and uh, so I submitted a couple of a uh, couple of ideas. Okay. I can't talk about it, but yeah, yeah it's uh, hopefully it will happen. Hopefully, I have very nice ideas. So, okay. what is the plan now for uh, upcoming year? Like, what you are have a vision? Um, so definitely Park Avenue. I hope <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it <laughs> because it's been a couple of times that it's delayed. Uh, but yeah, Park Avenue you in New York. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I'm like, come on. It's like I have the pieces ready. I have everything yeah. ready. It's just like, you just give me the permit. I'll do yeah. it. That's all. So it's a lot of work out. Exactly. Yeah. Inshallah. And um, but yeah, Park Avenue is 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 one big thing. Um, the next was supposed to be a uh, World Art Dubai and and uh, and couple of other uh, uh, expos here. Now it's back to October, so we'll just wait October, and that's all. I think with the virus now, it's a little bit shaky. Yeah, uh, it's trying I, times. I was uh, I was uh, going to expose in the four season, yeah. which is going to be a new one also. But same thing, we are putting in hold everything because we don't really know how it's going to evolve. Of course. Yeah. So let's wait. Let's wait. Hang there and um, let's just wait for it to pass and then we go back to uh, to big things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, Idris. So what is like the the piece of advice you give it to people like that are watching us and because always we're asking this question for our guests because everyone has his own niche. Mm-hmm. You know, what is your advice for someone like you, how he started that he studied but he's passionate about something, but he don't have many support and people like and what he's doing. I mean as you said, like there is a kind of like you need yeah, to kind of believe in one yourself yeah. so people can believe in you. Exactly. And then when you starting make a result, then you start believing that you are doing the right thing. Exactly. So what is your advice as an entrepreneur for everyone trying to start something in that art space? It's a very simple and very complex sentence that my dad always used to tell me. When you want, you can. It's very simple, mm-hmm. but in the same way, it's very complex. When you want, you can. It, it tells everything and nothing. Yeah. Like, of course, uh, uh, you can be the best basketball player in the world, but if nobody notice you, you'll still be the only one, and, but alone. Mm. So it's not only a wish, but it's, it's a way of thinking, you yeah. know? And when you want, you can, is like not only expecting, okay, you can train hard in basketball, you can do a lot of things, you can uh, sleep with a ball. But it's not the only part that is going to make it a success. The, the place that is making a success is going to find who is running the club yeah. of the city, who is running the club of the, of, of the, uh, of the country, right. etc. Et so they, this, this is a full sentence that is simple and hard, but uh, simple and complex. But it's like, yeah, when you want, you can. So if you don't believe in it, for sure, people will not believe in it. Yeah. Because you have to be really committed to it. Um, it's not as simple as this. Sometimes it doesn't happen. That's why you have some people that are super famous. Some people that are not famous. A lot of artists, they become famous when they die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Picasso, Van Gogh, all those Very guys. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I think yeah. Van Gogh only sold one painting when he was alive. So he definitely didn't make money out yeah. of it. Yeah. But And now you want to buy a Van Gogh, you are going to pay billions of it. Right. So, right. so that's the thing. So it's... it's 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 a sentence, but because it's about it's about you have to believe in you. Yeah. yeah. If you really believe that you can do it, then you'll be able to do it. Because then, not it, it's there is there is fifty percent of work, thirty percent of determination, like motivation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will say fifteen percent of being stable. That like it's not only being good; it's being good always. You yeah. know. And, and taking the chance that people will give you. You know, stupid thing, like tonight you have, I don't know, whatever dinner with your fiance, 
but a guy told you, okay, let's have a meeting. Yeah. And this guy is maybe a big director. Maybe not. You don't know. But if you don't go, you will never know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I don't That'll say always much. cancel the meeting, but be careful because yeah. sometimes you have one time chance and this chance is not going to come back be be right. before a couple of times. Yeah. So you have to grab it, seize it and transform it. And then 5% is, is luck. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like you can be perfect, but if nobody knows you, it's it's difficult. Now yeah. you have social media and everything. Yeah. But before it's it was difficult. Yeah. So yeah. 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 So that's that's my advice. That's the best advice. That's uh, being being. So you made it without this <laughs> social media. You know, you had the natural. Yeah. The natural yeah no, you, you, you know, you have to. You, you, you have to. You know, same thing for the point. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. obviously, I can wait for somebody that tried to discover me. Yeah. But. I went to the information desk and say, listen, I'm the artist. I do this. I do that. Here is what I do. Can you please transmit my message? And even if it was a no, yeah. then go it's next one, one right. next one, next one, until one is going to say yes. You right. don't, you At don't the feel beginning, it. Dubai Design Week told me no. Right. And now D3, uh, D3 wants me, you know? So yeah. it's, it's, it's things evaluating yeah. and it's timing, timing, timing and luck. Everything. It's everything. It's everything. And Today, and as long as you're prepared, you know, as uh, pr being prepared. Exactly. That's why stability, yeah. being, being, you know, stable and, and keep being good every time and right. seize that moment yep. because you can be perfect, but maybe today's the, the, whatever is the person, the decision maker had a good mood. He gets you had yeah. a bad mood. He doesn't have a meeting with right. you. Yeah. And that's all. It's sometimes true. these five percent change a lot. That's true. But if you don't have the rest, it will not happen for sure. That's true. Yeah. So you really have to be, yeah, to 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 believe in you. That's yeah. the most important. If you believe in yourself, a lot of things can happen. Yeah. Uh, yep. There that's is no, there is no magic recipe. It's no. hard work. No. Yeah. It's hard, hard work. Yeah. Yeah. There is no. <laughs> there is no hazard you yeah, know yeah, there is yeah. no coincidence of course right? yeah. it's only about hard work hard work hard work right you don't have to sacrifice everything i mean some sometimes you know you can be great at yeah. something and you will not make a career right. that's all yeah. you know like uh, one guy in, in for example in china he's very famous the uh, the ceo of alibaba yes mm -hmm. he have been turned off at mcdonald yeah, yeah. like in KFC. china you have mcdonald wow. and kfc every yeah. 50 meters right it's not like they don't need people like they need Right. Anyone. But he have been turned off for this, for a school teacher, for this, a lot wow. of things. Yeah, and yeah, now yeah. he makes in one day one billion. You know, it's as simple as this. But this is a good inspiration yeah. story Amazing. because now yeah. China every year they have two millions new millionaires. Yeah. Two million. Two new millions million. new millionaires every wow. year. Wow. Yeah, every yeah year. no, no. It's, uh, it's, huge. it's huge. It's so huge. Because yeah, yeah. Um, like everyone have a role model, you know, and... Mm -hmm. uh, I think the aspiration is a rejection because if you really yeah, truly yeah. believe in what yeah. you are doing, yeah. everyone rejecting you, you feel yourself you are doing the right thing. Yeah. Because if you don't really understand what is the meaning of rejection, you will have it later when you are already doing your stuff. Right. Because you understand that this rejection was not based on your art or your stuff. It is rejection because you don't understand what you are doing, yeah, exactly. right. especially when you are doing new things. Yeah. Right. Because if you just tell him about pen, but there is no pen on the market, they right. don't understand what is the purpose of the pen. Exactly. Right, right. They said, exactly. I don't know this. No. Why do I need this? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and different between like you have presentation on a paper and you have that kind of giant gorilla physical. Right, right. So it's different he would see it as a presentation or he see the reality. Right. So people, uh, they must really know that the rejection can be based on the judgment of one person right yeah and should not be and maybe it's just the mood of the guy exactly. that day right exactly. and you can why just why change the next day if you came the next day it was fine right that's why it's important to be resilient yeah you have to be you, you have, have to, to be. you have to yeah. be you know um and that's what separates honestly that's what separates the winners from the losers sorry for the lack of better yeah. words but it, yeah. it does it's like the you can lose several yeah. times, but yeah. you eventually get a win if you continue to try. But if you continue, if you lose and then you give up, there's no way you can be able no, to. No, yeah, that's for sure. So, oh, that's for sure. Not yeah. only that, I think also his art and the animal is also showing that character, you know, because yeah, every yeah, animal yeah. have different unique characters. Character, so it's yeah. like, uh, you cannot compare, if you say like uh, uh, the coat of, if you're judging the fish by climbing the tree, you'll yeah. be yeah. mistaken, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, and everyone is, I mean, it, it's not, you know, everybody wants to be uh, Good at everything. Famous, <laughs> rich, super healthy, super yeah. sporty. You can't be everything. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. impossible. Otherwise, right. they all will not be elite. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, we'll all be the same. Right. And that's all. But there is thousand different species of fish, thousand different yeah. species. So we are all unique, yeah. all different. And some people sometimes it's not meant to be successful. Some people are not meant to be 
uh, I believe in Mektoub. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's also about Mektoub. It's not only about what you wish, but it's also about a certain moment. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a big strength, like to think, okay, maybe it's not good for me. Maybe I'm not done. I'm, I'm, I think I'm good for this. Right. How many football players do you think every year mm -hmm. think I'm the best, I'm the new Ronaldo, right, right, but right, at the right. end of the day, they don't become Ronaldo. Yeah. Right. Because Ronaldo, there is only one guy that is Ronaldo, Ronaldo, and that's all, you yeah, know? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's also this part of it, like it's work and, 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 and believe in yourself, yeah. Yeah. but it's always about a, about everything is about not being extreme right in one side or in the other like don't don't lose your temper because you just had one reject in one right. day right but after a hundred times at a certain moment yeah maybe change you know or do yeah. something differently right and, and one of the things that resonated with me with uh what you said is like if you don't believe in it um you won't do it you'll scrap the whole project exactly. which screams to me levels of authenticity yeah. You know, so you have to have a project or something that's authentic to yourself in order to kind of like release it to the world and for the world to buy into it. So yeah. that belief in yourself is extremely key. Oh, because yeah. otherwise you will not believe in it. Yeah. If you don't yeah. believe in it, you will not be able to talk about it with passion. You will not be able right. to even sell it, you know. As right. he said, if, he's, if it's not his son like it or he like, yeah. Yeah. like as a client himself, yeah. he will not do it. Because, exactly. because I think it will be bad. Yeah, yeah. but it's sellable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but... I don't like it, yeah. you know. <laughs> I, I have the luxury to be able to do that because a lot of people can't, right. you know. And but for me, it's really that's a little bit different with art. Is like it's a passion. Yeah. So it's it's not about uh, 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 just being soldable or not. Yeah. It's about if you like it, it's about feeling. Yeah. yeah. And of course, in your work, you do a lot of things that you don't like, and you still do it because at the end of the day, you paid for it. Right. Right. But uh, with artists. We have the luxury to do that. Then, right. of course, isn't you end up broke or in the bridge? Right, right. But artists usually have the choice, yeah. which a lot of people don't, and that's the biggest luxury part of the of that field. Yeah. yeah. Thank Amazing, you so much man. for sharing your story with us. Thank you. We learned a lot, you know, and I'm really like exciting uh, to have you with us. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you very fun, much. Thank fun. you. And uh, everyone really watching this episode is gonna be learning something about your story and at the same time is really inspiring them on mm, what they're doing so. because um, there is no shortcut. Yep. Everything needs times. Yep. Yeah. Everything needs failures yep. to learn, to have experience. Yep. Yep. And um, I really like uh, wish you all the best. Thank I you. just want to remind our uh, audience where they're going to find your stuff, like the website, your social media. Sure. So um, Instagram is The Art Collection by Idris B. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit long. <laughs> yeah. You can just hashtag Idris B and then you'll be able to find it. Mm -hmm. uh, in Facebook, it's the same. And then on the website is www.idrisb.com. Okay. This is really interesting. So now you can explore your own 200 billion uh, chances. <laughs> and <laughs> Don't spend too much time on it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we recommend you to check the website and um, we're looking forward to hear your feedback. Don't forget to sign up for VIP and stay tuned for more episodes.